So as you can see from the title of the video, we're doing another book review today on The Good Nurse by Charles Graber. I don't know why I call these videos book reviews. I don't really review the books. They just kind of bring up things that I want to talk about. I did enjoy the book. I give it a 4 out of 5 stars because it was entertaining. I like that they kind of told it more like a fiction story where you were sort of jumping in and out of the character's thoughts a lot. As opposed to most non-fiction retellings that are just kind of giving you the facts. There was a documentary on Netflix that had the actual detectives and staff that were involved in the case talking about it. And the book was adapted into a film with Eddie Redmayne and Jessica Chastain that was pretty good. But for this video, I just want to focus on the book and the documentary. So for a quick summary, I'm not really sure how to say this without giving anything away, but then I'm not really sure if it would be considered a spoiler if it happened in real life. So the story follows the Charlie Cullen case where Charlie Cullen was a nurse in the Pennsylvania, New Jersey area in the 90s and early 2000s. And over that time, he ended up murdering several people by lethal injection. He's confessed to killing 40 people at most but others estimate it to be about 400. He did eventually get arrested and everything, but that was almost 15 years after he started in his nursing career. Just quick disclaimer, I am not diagnosing anybody with anything, and this is not meant to be taken as an excuse for what happened. I'm just giving my take on it. So what I wanted to talk about in the book is that Charlie seems like he kind of has a bit of a hero complex to him. They don't come out and say in the book but I saw it as Charlie kind of having this need to feel helpful to people. I don't necessarily think having a hero complex is inherently a bad thing, but I think if people understood that, they might be able to recognize some other patterns sooner instead of letting it get to as far as it did. Because part of his hero complex was saying to him that Killing all these people will be mercy and he kind of be like a savior to them for putting them out of their misery. Now in the documentary they show it interviews with Charlie when he first got arrested and he was saying that he did it because he felt this need to end human suffering as he saw it and it's not like they were a hopeless case and that they were gonna die and no one could do anything. They were actually getting better or they could be treated. And again, I'm not diagnosing here, but that just seems a lot like what OCD feels like. A lot of people who have OCD are compelled to do things that they know aren't really gonna help. In fact, they might make things worse, like if they're germaphobe and something in their mind is convincing them that they have to drink a bottle of bleach, then they know that it will hurt and they'll have to go to the emergency room after, but they still just feel a strong need to do that. And it doesn't seem that unreasonable to think that it could also go the other way. 
where you would have to hurt someone else to avoid this terrible thing, even though you know in your mind that's not gonna help at all, but you still just feel like you have to do it, and you can hold out as long as you can if you're a strong person, but at some point it almost feels like you're possessed in a way where your body just starts doing things without your full consent. I'm not trying to make an excuse for what happened or anything. At the end of the day, people are dead and that is the most important issue here, not why they did that. But I think that if we are better able to recognize these patterns in ourselves and possibly among other people, then we could prevent these terrible things from happening in the first place. And although mental illnesses that cause you to kill other people are very rare, it's still important to recognize a mental illness before it escalates to that point or before it harms you personally because mental illnesses are really hard to treat the stronger hold they get. So those are my thoughts on the situation. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in another